This smoke smells. This smoke smells good. Oh. What does it smell like? Smoke. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> In this episode, we're going to talk about starting out in our RV in our first campsite and why we picked it, and also some local places that we were able to go see with our children while we were setting up our rig. A lot of people already know this, um, but sometimes you don't have to go to the whole process of getting an RV and doing all that stuff before you just go see what's near near you. And whether it's a site or some place that's kind of cool that you want to see but you haven't taken the time. And we actually did that and it was pretty cool. All right, why did we choose to stay local when we first got our rig? Well, we chose to stay local for many reasons, mainly because we sold our house faster than we thought. Mm -hmm. And we heard that it's a good idea to not just take off when you get your rig. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things um, and you don't know always what you need till you need it. Uh. And we put a lot of stuff in storage that we should have put on the RV. Yeah. So we ended up making some runs to storage, getting things that were like shoots. Oh, and I think <laughs> we, we purposely would have chose to do that and it still worked out because there again, I didn't want to have flood the our, our yes. RV with a whole bunch of stuff that we didn't need. So it worked out better just to put a lot of it, except the bare essentials. And then we went and got things that we do, huh, this would work in this mm -hmm. space. And just left storage again. Again, for the <laughs> keep track of time, but moving and getting and... So I think it's really worked out having the RV local. What was something that you ended up in, having in storage that you really needed? Like something as simple as having all the clothes, like you might need something that you had and it just, everything was right there in storage. The kids might have needed something and it wasn't like it was way out of the way to get. Yes. Um, another thing is when we were staying local, we purposely chose to do a trip, kind of a short two week mm -hmm. trip. It's our maiden voyage, so yes. first camping experiences and we've had, we have videos of that, go check it out. It was pirate um, land. The pirate land and then Emerald Isle and Jellystone. Yeah, and so we are able to take those experiences and then when we came back, see, okay, we needed this and we needed that and we don't need this and we don't need that. Yes. So it really helped us to be able to kind of get into our rig a little more efficient. I mean, I think initially when we talked about our RV, we had this idea of we're gonna get our RV, we're gonna go out west. And I think it really helped um, Watching some other RVers on Instagram and their YouTube channels, there's people out west trying to get out east. Um, and so it really helped us to pivot and change our direction of, you know, not being in a hurry to get to the places we think we might want to be. Yeah, I mean, we, we look, definitely look forward to going out west. It's going to be a new experience. We've lived out on the east coast here. And so something new for us is going to be out towards the out west. Um, but that's something we learned and we share I'll push along is to take advantage of all the things that you had to see uh, in your backyard. Yes, and that's what we did while we were staying at Dixie Caverns, which is in our hometown. Um, we took advantage of seeing some places that we had never seen before Yeah. Um, while we were setting up like on the weekends. So we'd work on the RV mm -hmm. um, during the week and then on the weekends we would try to go and take the kids to see something like we would if we were RVing. Yeah. Um, so I think it was a little bit of adjustment for the kids because we moved in and we went right to work. Right. And they're like, wait a second, we're supposed to be having fun. <laughs> Yeah, it was a, that's be, goes back to like we were saying because we kind of jumped in quick. The house sold a little quicker than we were expecting, which was awesome. Uh, but then we had to still finish up things. So Dixie Caverns, uh, we stayed there. Uh, shout out to the Dixie Caverns staff and the owner. We really enjoyed our time there. Yeah, they were there. fantastic. They were great at accommodating us and helping us meet our needs. Um, right. We stayed twice. We stayed the initial first two weeks and then we went on our mini trip and then we stayed um, for about a month. We Let's just did week to week. Mm -hmm. um, so we just evaluated each week to see um, how long we needed to stay. I picked Dixie Caverns because it was within a 30 minute drive of where we had our storage unit, where we sold our home. Um, it was near family and friends. So 
what made it really fun is our friends got to come and see our new RV and check it out. Yeah, in the back, <laughs> right. Excuse Mr. Cool's in the back. What they did is they, put, they made the fire. In the so we're like, you. Oh. <laughs> you asked. Whoa, that's, that's, a, that's a carrot. <laughs> Throwing that at the wrong fix person. <laughs> yeah, but it was so fast, you were like, oh, oh, and you just grabbed it. And then found out it was a carrot after it's going. Down. I'm totally good with cooked carrots. I just, I just. Upside down, but don't lose your bread. <laughs> Put that hook in there. Yep. Close it. Lock it. Now it's ready to go over the fire. Cook it up. It's gonna take a little while. Got you. Yeah. Um, yeah, it worked out great. Um, we got to tour Dixie Caverns. You haven't seen it. You I hadn't seen it, so mm -hmm. that was great to be able to be right there and take advantage of it. I highly suggest it. It was really cool. Yes, it was very gorgeous, and Jack loved it. Um, Jack is very, uh, he loves nature and rocks and minerals in particular. And he, yeah. just, he just thinks the caverns are very calming. Yeah. Um, and so after we saw that one, of course, Jack wanted to go see the other one nearby. So we also went to Natural Bridge Caverns and we went to actual Natural Bridge. Yeah. And you had seen it. It's been several years since I'd been, but it's a natural landmark um, and it's really cool. But really I, amazing. I had never seen it. And I don't, there's been so many times growing up as a kid, we, we went to Natural Bridge and we're like, ah, we don't really want to pay that kind of money to go see a bridge. And then the kids were like, why are we going to go see a bridge? And then we got there and it was amazing. It was definitely worth the... Yeah, it, it blows people's minds. Mm -hmm. For special things, like I might have a... Oh, there it is. Whoa. <laughs> what the... We drove across that. Wait, Mom, we were that high in the yes. sky? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I no I wonder. I know that we drove across. I thought that... What the... When I thought of natural one of the bridge. most cool bit driving across from this one, you still use it as, a, as an actual bridge. When this is natural bridge, I didn't think it would be good. I know. I thought right? I'd be able to touch the floor. Oh, God. What do you think, Victor? Is it cool? Yeah. Is it worth coming to? Definitely. It's big. Why are you sitting down? <laughs> it's the opposite of it feels like being afraid of heights but you're on the ground yeah. you're like this is amazing what can you go out once you see massive That's what I feel stone down. Um, it's like you feel like you're up there looking down but you're actually down here yeah well, you feel like you're gonna fall oh, yeah. <laughs> It's like a thrill, and you're just standing I don't here. I want to say it incorrectly, but as these are the only or one of the only uh, few actual working bridges still, natural stone um, bridges, and it's it's just amazing. It's 
So if you're in the area, if you want to go check it out, I don't, I don't, I will do it injustice. And it's one of those things like we took pictures and videos, but that doesn't do justice. You no, know, it was still a great experience. There. But the, the the moral of the story for us was just go see the stuff that's near you. Go experience. Take the time to uh, get out and go see. You don't have to RV and do all that stuff to do that. Um, so yes. that's what we learned. Take advantage of wherever you're at and go see. You don't have otherwise you'll miss out on some opportunities. So. I think when we went, because we have that mindset now because we're in an RV that we need to go see things. And when, while we were there, you know, we kept, as parents, we kept saying, why didn't we do this sooner? Why didn't we take the kids to go see this sooner? Yeah, um, so life happens, things get busy, we all know that. So, yes, it does. Which is all the more reason why we need to try to Live make an today effort. like it matters, right? Exactly, and, and make an effort. <laughs> so anyway. You All right. Well, um, that kind of wraps it up for this one. Look, we'll look forward to catching you catching you next week. Um, We're getting ready to share some thousand twelve campsite. We're actually staying at one right now. Yeah. Give you kind of an overview of the few that we've stayed at so far. Let you know what we think. Yes. And so. And share the details about thousand trails. Yeah. Yeah. As we're learning as we go too. So. Yes. Anyway, catch you guys next time.